First of all, Linda, what was it that caught your attention with this image? I think it was the contemporary feel to the image, that um, it reminds me very much of ceramics by Grayson Perry and the unusual composition, the fact that it's, it's very slanted over towards the left. I don't know, it's just very striking visually. You see it across the room and it just draws your attention. And how and how has it been done? Because it it's got there is a surface to it as well as yeah. Uh, it looks as though she's uh, folded quite a stiff. It's not quite canvas. It's she's folded it in or pleated it almost, and uh, then she's worked across and over it with like a diagonal composition, and then worked worked in some really unusual textures. Um, using things that could have looked really garish and cliched, but they actually work really well, like glitter. It looks like she's used glitter glue in places, which sounds horrendous, but it actually works really well because it's subtle. And the colours as well. I mean, there's something quite interesting going on with the colours. Tell us about that. Yes, I think she's instinctively used the colour wheel without realising. I think um, I don't think it's contrived, but you've got pinks and reds and purples working with greens, touches of yellow and orange. It just somehow all pulls together really beautifully. I think that she should be very, very pleased with it. Great. And what what advice would you give to students on that on that course about sort of looking at a work like this and thinking about their practice. She's taken a lot of risks in this painting and uh, it takes a lot of confidence to do that and I think a lot of the students have tried to play safe and that it doesn't work and it shows at assessment when, when they've tried to play safe quite often they've actually undone a lot of the good work that they've done in their preparatory studies. She's really push, pushed herself to produce something that um, I think is, is quite remarkable, actually. Excellent. I'd be proud of it if I did it myself. I really like it.